Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my lovely wife, Laura, who's sitting on that side today. Hello. And what are we doing today? Because I can never pronounce it. We have a big blind bag or box splits. Yeah. Or egg. Or egg. Just one egg. Or squishy packaging or, you know. Well, it's a bag. Sort of. We're going to open all of this stuff up. Some of it's awesome and some of it's less awesome in this corner here. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get the battle blades out of the way yes. first? Yes. You can have oh, the honours. I get the honours, do I? Uh, so if you haven't seen, these are basically like um, Tarzos, I guess, and you can put like a little stick in the middle of them and they, they, they turn spin. into a spinning top. Yeah. And we don't really watch them, Pam, so... Oh. Oh. And by the way, the checklist comes in four cards, so you don't get the whole checklist in each pack. No. So this is card four or four. Does that mean we've got a gold one? I don't know. Actually, Whatever I think night. we've got a gold one maybe yeah, already. Yeah, a gold one. Ultra rare. Ooh. I think that's like the second or third one we've yeah. had, but you Heat know. Blast 2, like Ben 10 transforming into Humongosaur, and Kevin Levin. Would you want to make one of those into a top? Why not? Hang on, bring those back. Oh, okay, sorry. I apologise. Put them on our little stand here. Put the gold one on front. Oh, of course. Of course. And I'm going to open the other not amazing thing here, which is Angry Bird Space Dog Tag Fun Pack. So there are 20 to collect. Uh, it's very reflective. Of course, a dog tag with a ball chain, one sticker set, plus one checklist. So I think we're using oh. the term fun here very loosely. Well, I used the tear strip and I've ripped, like, the stickers, I think. Oh, no. Oh, they were oh. gone. The dark ones too. Disappointing. And oh, the checklist is like in the shape of a planet, which is kind of cool. They've gone to a bit more effort yeah, there. Yeah, they both had the regular Angry Birds dog tags before, and a bit plain. Yeah, so. so that's everyone you can get. And who did we get? We have Laser Bird. Oh, whoops. Is it cardboard or metal? No, it's metal. Oh. They're um, not particularly thick though. They don't feel very good quality compared to some, some dog tags. I don't know, dog I tags I think we only are... paid like 10 cents for this. So. <laughs> yeah, we did. So, yeah, that's the uh, dog tag we Here's got there. a spinning top. I don't want to spin it too hard because it'll probably... Yep. They spin pretty well, but I don't know. Yeah. Good way to destroy your battle blades. <laughs> anyway, what would you like to open next? Something exciting? The Simpsons 25th Anniversary uh, Best of Greatest Guest Stars. Yeah, so basically these are figurines. Series 2 of them, by the way, not number 1. I think we missed Series 1. Um, yeah. They're basically people who have been on The Simpsons, so celebrities and stuff. So Mark Hamill, Britney Spears, Lucy Lawless, Tony Hawk, Maggie Simpson. That's weird. Yeah, uh, Roger Daltrey. Uh, Pete Townshend Shen, and and John Entwistle. I can't see it. What's called? Sure. Sure, that sounds good. He's uh, a member of the crew. And obviously the big price tag we took off, but these are very cheap. These are only like three dollars. Yeah, or so something. I'm expecting these figures to be quite small. And I'm right. Oh, and we've got like the only one in there that this wasn't. It's like... not actually a, a guest star. Yeah. So, isn't that Maggie when she's dancing to a Britney Spears song in her car? I guess. It's I'm the episode not sure. where Holmes trying to seduce Marge well, and swaps his. It says the episode, on it. Swaps it was his... from Dude, Where's My Ranch? There you go. That's the episode it came um, from. Let's see if it focuses there. I think series one from memory had some more interesting people, although now that I think about it, I can't remember who was in it. But It's a bit, bit disappointing we didn't actually get a. Celebrity guest. <laughs> but we do have more of them to open in future videos, so yes. there's that to look forward to. Yes. So, can I open the Futurama? You can. The reason why I say that <clears throat> is because it sort of bubbles because it's really big and it takes up the entire box. So, I'm kind of intrigued to see who is in here. So, yeah, obviously, if you're looking for this, whoever the. It's probably like the Don Bot or someone who, like, a really big one. I assume that's Don Bot because. Um, yeah, question mark, question mark. So. <coughs> yeah, well, hopefully it is, because that'd be kind of nice to get a really rare one. And this is Kid Robot, isn't it? Yeah, they're Kid Robot. Ooh, they've got a lot of glue there on the top. Yeah, and tape. I really want to... <laughs> they knew this one was trying to escape. Yeah, it was really quite you know, heavy. in the box oh, yes. and um, So, we've had one of these before, so the only one we've got, though, is Elza. Who was three maybe, so it's not a bad one to get. Yeah, we were really lucky, so... 
Where do we have? Oh, we were wrong, wrong, wrong. We have Leela in her superhero outfit, which I believe was in a specific episode where they had cream yeah. they rubbed on. She is really heavy. She looks really fat. Yeah, she does actually. She's got very um large assets, shall we call them at the front. And what does she come with? Oh the And here. At least she stays up. Yeah, I was the, surprised. The actual toothpaste. So it is what does that say? Doctor Flim Floor's Miracle Cream. I don't think that's focusing very well, but So obviously she is a three in twenty, so one of the common ones. But I still think most of these are pretty cool. You so know, I'm... I'm not sure that this fits in her hand. Right. Well, the Spice Weasel with Elsa, I don't think, fit, did it? Well, gee, that's a bit disappointing. Um, oh, well, just sit next to her then, but... I could see easily losing, losing that. that Miracle Cream. It's so. very detailed for how small it is. They are really detailed. And like I said, her head in particular is really heavy, but, um, yeah, I just wish you could hold her accessory. A bit odd. It's a Cars buildable figure. Collect all six by Gatcha Tommy. They, they do a lot of this yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Collect all six. Let's Collect find out who we've got. Is there a tear strip here? Yes, there is. Phew. I did not organise scissors today. Ooh. Oh, that definitely looks like you're going to be building that for a while. <laughs> Alright, it looks like Lightning McQueen, but I'll... Uh... You go build that, and I will open this Shopkins Easter egg. Now, I don't think these actually have any... Hair strips, like do they? Hand? I'm gonna need a hand, yeah. If you've, watched, if you've watched our other videos, I'm dreadful at opening these. I just yeah, be very careful when opening these with scissors because it's very easy for scissors to slip and stab your finger, which I have done multiple times, especially when we opened up a whole box of them. Oh yeah, that was that was rough. We had to stop filming and get your band-aids. Several band-aids. <laughs> Several band-aids. Alright, so if you haven't seen these before, you can get regular Season 4 Shopkins, like this one that we've got here, it's which is... a good is, old comfy chair. Yep, comfy chair in the brown colour. As they say, the classic. And then you can get pastel Easter coloured repaints. And sometimes you do get two in an egg, but if more lucky. often than not you get one of each. So it looks like earring twins. Earring twins in like a purpley, pinky kind of colour, so yeah. We um don't need that one, unfortunately, but, you know, that's okay. All right, How well, are you going over there with your... It's actually car. not that easy to build it. The the pegs that they go in here aren't sort of lining up very well, so I'm sort of having to bend it a little bit for it to uh, go in. So if you want to open another one... Right. Um, well, how about I open the Star Wars? I know you're excited about this, but I don't know anything about Doctor Who. Fair enough. I have no interest in it whatsoever. So, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. We didn't know these existed until we went looking at blind Online. boxes. Online, particular. Um, so, yeah. so Star Wars Bust Up. So, it's apparently a model kit where you can build a little mini bust. Um, this is Series 1. So Why do we have to pick all the ones you have to quite build? Quite a good few characters there that you can get. And... Um, these are from the uh, series one is from like the classic Star Wars. Yeah, so not not the Force Awakens that have just come out. No, all the, the classic movies. Or the uh, prequels or anything like that. So you can get others. Some of the other series are from other ones. But we went with the original, and we have really weird looking Princess Leia who apparently has no hands until I put them on her. Yeah, that's a bit bizarre. <laughs> so I hope you're almost done with that car because apparently I'm going to be building. Um, a person and putting limbs. Well, I'm not going to bother putting your stickers on because there's many. I just keep right. the... I'll need the scissors, by the way. This is a really thick, solid There you go. He's passing the scissors. You. So there's Lightning McQueen. Um, it's actually quite a solid figure, but it hasn't gone to get together very well. There's lots of gaps everywhere. The wheels don't spin, so it really is just like a display figure. His eyes are stuck on there, but the sticker's not very good, so... Um, it was only $3, so... Uh, yeah. Two, yeah, two, $3. Yeah, so, I mean, for what you get, it's quite a sizable heavy figure. Not too bad, but I wish it wasn't so hard to put together because a lot of kids would have issues with uh, doing that, I think, without a parental parental guidance. Yeah, well, how about you go ahead and open that Doctor Who while I... Doctor Who by Titans arms. Vinyl Figures. So basically, it's just a collection of Doctors. There's usually, I think, two Doctors. One's a sort of more common one, one's a sort of a rare or a mystery one. 
canine, you know, Bad Wolf Tardis, canine, some more doctors, a couple of the chicks the doctors like to hang out with. You know how it is when you get lonely, space traveling and things. Yeah, of course. Mm, time traveling, whatever he ends up doing in every episode. What do we have here? There's no chair strip on this. Feels small. Mm, yes, there is. It's hard to see because the, the paper of plastic is quite. Uh, Okay, we've got one of the female companions. They're quite detailed, I mean, without actually having seen what, I think she's in the newest series, without actually having seen it and comparing the likeness of it, it's it's hard to to tell, but that looks like Rose Tyler. Is that the one played by Billy Piper? Uh, your, your guess is probably as good as mine. I feel, uh, it kind of looks like her, that's all, so let us know in the comment section if that is, because we don't watch Doctor Who. And yet we're still opening Doctor Who stuff. Hey, they were really cheap. Unfortunately, um, Doctor Who merchandise is sold in ABC stores predominantly here. And the actual physical ABC stores here are closing for good, um, which is sad. So they had upwards of 80% off the store inventory, which is why we got a whole lot of the... Uh... Yeah, so if you like Doctor Who, we have more to come. <laughs> um, as for these bus ups... Um, the arms, I don't know how well you can tell, they don't really go in that well. Like, it's not really a bust, it's was, a whole figure. <laughs> almost, except without legs. Um, it was quite a lot of force to get them in, and I still don't feel like they're very safely in her sort of sleeves. So definitely not a kid's toy. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm not even sure. I mean, the, the, the quality is not great. I mean, this is how her cape came. Like, it was already in. And as you can see, it's... You can see that there's a gap between it and her. Mm. So th these were nine ninety nine um, in Australia, and I don't know. I I just feel like the quality is not very good. I feel like you could easily lose the arms, like the cape comes off. And I mean, if you want to display your desk, whatever, it'd probably be okay. But I don't know. I mean, I I actually took a while. I took the whole time you were opening that Doctor Who to build her, because her arm kept falling out, <laughs> and now her cape's not on correctly, which is why she's a bit wonky looking. Well, she's just strategically shooting. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Well, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a thumbs up or let us know down below what you'd maybe like to see us open more of. And don't forget to hit subscribe. We have two new videos every single week. Blind bag openings like this one, board game reviews, and subscription box unboxings. Can't wait. Bye. Bye-bye.